Hey, don't get me wrong. I am a huge fan of the PTO. What they've done for our sport with things like Challenge slash Clash, Daytona and the TV coverage, international ranking system, Collins Cup, things like bringing money into the pros that helps them to be able to train more and bring us better racing at all of these great events is something that the PTO is based on and have done a really, really good job. But they've done something really controversial and possibly undermining their authority in the sport by disallowing Christian Blumfeld's 721 Ironman Cozumel as to be the number one fastest time world record Ironman 140.6 distance race. I don't see it. The guy raced the conditions that were there that day on a course that was an Ironman course that was sanctioned, but he raced the conditions that were there that day. The conditions that day had some good things, some bad things. The good things were the current. They had a, a current with them the whole way, bringing his swim time into like, I believe it was like 39 minutes, which is a super fast swim time. But he also had to fight rain all day, flooded roads, three laps on the bike where he ended up in traffic with uh, age groupers, traffic in transition, rain in transition in the setup, all of the things you would have to go through on a day in, day out Ironman race that the race they are going to call the fastest ever didn't have. What race was that? Jan Frodano's made for TV 727.53 that was done in perfect setup conditions with a perfect swim with only two people in the race that never even saw each other with Lionel Sanders falling back right off the bat. Everything perfect. Even the turnaround on the bike was set up with a built velodrome that made the, had them turn around super fast and it didn't even have to slow down. Everything set up to have the fastest 140.6 ever. And I can't call it a race. It was not sanctioned. It was not an official course. There were not other racers out there. Guys, that one, if you're going to call Bloomfelt's 721 out, I'm going to call out Ferdano's 727. Kick that one out too and go back to the fastest ever being Ferdano at uh, Challenge Roth. 735.39, bring that one back as the fastest race. But that's a mistake also, because now you're saying, we're gonna decide what conditions have to be there for a perfect race. Are you gonna take and say Gustav Eden having to fight against the current at Ironman Florida and going, I believe it was 741? Are you gonna uh, give him some time because of that? No, you're not. So we got to go ahead and leave the course that's there, the conditions of the day, and that's got to be your world record. Christian Bloomfeld, if you're watching this, you're the man. Put a comment below. Let me know you saw this. I would really love that. It would make me really feel really good. But forever, as far as I'm concerned, that 721 is the time to beat. Put a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. But I'm going to say, Jan, Gustav, Lionel, and the rest of the field, this man's for real. He's here to stay. Watch out at St. George. Watch out at Kona. Blumfeld's coming for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave that comment about what you think on this subject. And share this out with a friend so more people can see it. This is Coach John. Boom. I'm out.